In today's video, we'll talk about the Battle of the Billionaires as SpaceX astronaut jumps ship to Blue Origin. The space race we studied in our history books was way different from the one we're witnessing now. That was between two powerful nations, both trying to show their dominance to the world. But now, the battle is between two socially awkward billionaires. Make sure you stay till the end of the video to find out. Firstly, SpaceX astronaut jumps ship to Blue Origin. The billionaire's space race is heating up. It's also also kinda getting nasty now. Both Blue Origin's Jeff Bezos and SpaceX's Elon Musk both have a bit too much money, more than they could spend in their lifetime. So now, they're spending it all on space exploration. Just like the United States and the Soviet Union back in the Cold War days, they too also love sticking it to each other. The battle between the two has been going on for quite a while now. Sometimes Bezos wins and sometimes Musk wins, but more on that later. This time around, Jeff Jeff emerged victorious from the sparring round. Chris Sembrowski is an astronaut who previously worked for SpaceX. His employers before the private space company include Lockheed Martin and the United States Air Force. The guy might just be a real life maverick in the past. Sembrowski announced via Twitter that he'll be joining Blue Origin after previously working with SpaceX. This time, it's not a contract that SpaceX lost, but rather an essential team member. But why is Chris Sembrowski so important? important? Well, firstly, let's just talk about his past employer. Even assuming Sembrowski has no talents, which is far from the truth, he can still be a valuable member of Bezos' team. This is because he was an important member of Elon's team, which means he knows the ins and outs of his company. He's equipped with the knowledge of who SpaceX's suppliers are, what tech they use, what tech they might be working on, and most importantly, how they lobby for government contracts. However, that's not all he brings to the table. He's extremely talented and will be a great addition to Blue Origin. As we mentioned earlier in the video, he worked at Lockheed Martin and the US Air Force. So having military and private sector experience has made him a valuable employee. Being a member of the so-called military industrial complex, he'll know what's what. Not only that, but he also flew on SpaceX's Inspiration4. Inspiration4 was a low orbit space flight trip in 2021. The trip was held on behalf of Shift4 Payments CEO. The the purpose of the trip was to raise money for a hospital. Sembrowski was the second mission specialist on that flight, so he's had actual in-flight experience. So what will Sembrowski be doing over at Blue Origin? According to his LinkedIn profile, Chris Sembrowski has officially joined Blue Origin as an avionics engineer. What is that? Avionics is a very specific field that deals with advanced electronics on modern aircraft. Tweeting about his new role, Sembrowski said, Space beckons us. It taunts us. Images from Hubble pull on our desires to explore and seek new adventures. I am thrilled to be part of our expansion out to the rest of the universe. Let's go. It seems like working on electronics is not all he's planning to do at Blue Origin. He plans to get back into space as soon as possible. Lastly, let's talk about the SpaceX Blue Origin rivalry. This space race between two a little too rich people is something else. As Musk and Bezos continue to fight it out in the ring, the rest of us are just forced to watch from the sidelines and deal with the consequences of their actions. The rivalry between the two companies came to its peak in April 2021. This is when NASA wanted a lunar lander that would bring humans back to the moon. They awarded the contract to Musk's SpaceX instead of Bezos's Blue Origin. Our billionaire friend Jeff wasn't too happy about the whole ordeal. When kids get mad, they throw tantrums. When rich people get mad, they throw tantrums too, but they use lawyers and courts to throw their tantrums for them. Blue Origin then sued NASA over the decision, which the company lost. The company then also lost over a dozen high-ranking employees over several months. One of them even made its way to Elon's SpaceX. But as you may know from the news by now, working for Elon is no walk in the park. The company even fired several employees who critiqued Musk's behavior on Twitter. But when people call everything between SpaceX and Blue Origin a rivalry, some people get upset. SpaceX is too cool for Blue Origin. When a tech and science website called Gizmodo called these two rivals, people were quick to judge. A user stated that calling the two rivals is like saying the New York Yankees and a Little League team are rivals. They stated that there's no comparison to make as Blue Origin only sends a few tourists on suborbital flights, whereas SpaceX dominates cargo and human transport. They further stated that Blue Origin seems like a vanity project for Bezos. People have also been quick to point out that this is not the upper hand Jeff thinks it is because his company's 
still has a long way to go. However, that's not all. There's a lot of development when it comes to space and space exploration, so let's explore that. Now, time for some other news. Firstly, is China making great strides in space exploration? Long gone are the days when the USA and Russia were the only countries participating in the space war. Now we have two new significant contenders, India and China. China's most powerful carrier rocket, the Long March 5B, which is also known as the LM-5B, is ready to transport a super important module that is necessary to build the country's space station. The rocket has been developed based on the Long March 5. It's the most powerful heavy lift rocket in in China. So far, it's primarily been used for low Earth orbit launches. This rocket is 53 meters long. It has a thrust of over 1,000 tons for taking off. It can also carry 25 tons of spacecraft to the designated orbit. This makes the Chinese rocket's capacity among the world's best. As China aims to gain more prominence on the global stage, this rocket is extremely significant. China is already poised to have a larger economy than the United States in a few years. Their strides in the space race will help them gain even more prominence. Now, some bad news about the James Webb Space Telescope. According to images, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has been damaged after being smashed by a space rock. There has been damage to the telescope's primary mirror from a micrometeorite strike. The damage is far worse than what they first thought. This is a cool reminder that as much as we want to get into space, it's still a scary place. Unlike the Hubble Telescope, which encloses the primary mirror of the telescope, Webb's mirror remains exposed to space. However, because of its positioning, Webb's developers only expected it to encounter hazardous micrometeorites once a month. When the ground team tested the damage, they saw that the primary mirror sustained six strikes. The first five strikes didn't do much damage, but the sixth harmed the lens. The telescope took 20 years and $10 billion to develop. The project team is now considering actions to mitigate future strikes. They plan to limit how long the telescope can be pointed in direct directions known to expose the mirror. As of right now, preserving the long-term usability of the telescope seems like a priority for NASA. Well, we just discovered a black hole. A dormant black hole, which is, wait for it, nine times the mass of the sun, has been found outside the Milky Way. This is the first time something like this has been found, and the scientists are calling it a very exciting discovery. The researchers have been looking for something like this for more than two years, before coming across this black hole, which is known as V. FTS243. Good news is that it's dormant. A black hole is usually considered dormant if it doesn't emit high levels of x-rays. Usually, x-rays are how black holes are detected. Black holes like these are hard to find as they don't interact with their surroundings. Lastly, let's talk about how space is helping the field of medicine. Here's the thing, folks. Stem cells are great. Scientists see a lot of possibilities for their use. Stem cells can be used to treat a wide number of medical problems in the future, including cancer. But there's a catch. Earth's gravity makes it super difficult to grow the large number of cells that would be necessary for treatments. Certain treatments could even require more than a billion cells per patient. So even if the FDA approves stem cell treatments, there's no way we could produce what we'd need. But now, scientists are working on something that just might solve this issue. Scientists are now conducting a new experiment that aims to study how stem cells might grow in space. These cells have arrived in space on a supply ship to the ISS and now we will be recording their growth in a zero gravity environment. Not only that, but this experiment will also help us understand how space travel affects our bodies. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Do you folks think Blue Origin could ever catch up to SpaceX? Let us know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye.